Thank you, Mr. Speaker. More than one million Americans who signed up for health care on the federal Obamacare exchange may be receiving an incorrect taxpayer subsidy for their plan due to the fact that Obama administration pushed this law through before the systems were in place to accurately confirm eligibility. This isn't mere incompetence on the part of the White House. No, this is a direct result of the administration's insistence on moving forward with their arbitrary October the 1st, 2013 open enrollment date, regardless of the consequences. Consider the problem this presents, as there is currently no real-time system in place to ensure only those who qualify for subsidies receive them. This means that hardworking American taxpayers may be left on the hook for potentially billions of dollars in fraudulent subsidy payments. Furthermore, it means that someone who simply fills out their Obamacare enrollment application incorrectly could be hounded for years by the Internal Revenue Service for back taxes owed on improper payments. This problem was entirely preventable. That's why in the wake of the clandestine holiday rules change that delayed income verification provisions in Obamacare last summer, I introduced legislation that would have prevented any Obamacare subsidies from being doled out until a system was in place to make sure that only, only those who were determined eligible would receive them. The House acted on this legislation, passing it in a bipartisan vote last September to help protect the American taxpayers from rampant fraud and abuse. Unfortunately, instead of giving my bill consideration that it deserved, the Senate stripped the verification provision contained in the bill and replaced it with language requiring a mere report to Congress by Health and Human Services Kathleen Sebelius at the end of last year, certifying that there is a system in place to verify incomes before subsidies are paid out. Predictably, this weakened income verification language has failed. And as we now learn from news reports that over a million Americans are potentially receiving an amount in error. That's why I have now introduced H.R. 4805, the No Subsidies Without Verification Act of 2014. The tax credits and cost-sharing assistance for Obamacare premiums administered by HHS is estimated to amount to a staggering $10 billion per month making this one of the largest entitlement programs in the nation. My bill would simply require an income verification system to be put into place before any additional taxpayer subsidy subsidies are given out. Mr. Speaker, Obamacare has become such a boondoggle that the nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office can't even score it anymore. My common sense legislation would slow the bleeding of this law is having on American taxpayers, and I look forward to working with my colleagues to move it forward. Thank you, and I yield back.